Hello and welcome to The Rules Guru. This week I've got joining me Alicia Newman, a fellow international umpire. So today we're going to talk about how we should issue a card on the field. Alicia? Um, well, one of the most important things is that we make sure that it's an efficient time stoppage. We don't want to waste one to two minutes uh, pulling a card from one of your pockets. It's really important I split my cards with the green on my right, uh, yellow on my left. Makes it really easy when you want to pull it out. A first thing you want to do is a big high time stoppage so that the tech bench can stop the clock. Uh, and then a nice efficient pull out the card to the tech bench, to the player, back in the pocket and we go time back in. It's not my responsibility to make sure the player makes it to the bench. So you've talked through the green card, what's the difference with a yellow card when we're issuing it? The main difference between a green and a yellow is for the intent of the breach and the length of the penalty. So a yellow card can be a five minute or a 10 minute suspension, which you indicate with the bench after you've given the card. So we pull out a card, signal to the bench, place the card away and a nice clear time signal towards the tech bench. So with the yellow card or with any card really, you communicate it with the bench but what about your colleague and other people around the field? In the same way that we signal a free hit, we can also signal to our colleague if it's for a dangerous call, for pushing in the back, for a five metre, whatever the decision may have been, a simple clear decision to your colleague also shows the players on the field what the card may have been for. Thanks for that Alicia. So the main things are that cards are clear and concise and we get on with the game as quickly as we can. 